Yeah? Yeah. Uh, my number two, yeah, two is uh, another game that's proved quite divisive, it seems, on the, the review scale, is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Uh, I actually technically played this ages ago, but um, this is the first week I've been able to talk about it, so I will. Uh, I, I thought it was superb. The, uh, you know what it is, I mean, you know what it is, but everyone knows what it is. You play as Raiden from Metal Gear. Uh, the game is about hitting things with your sword, cutting them, and uh, you can slow down time and use the right stick to slash in any direction that you want. And it's a platinum game, so it's super fast, 60 frames per second action. Everybody knows all this probably already. Uh, and the action, the combat, is marvellous. I think almost best in class. Um, I think it might be the best combat that they've done. It's all about relentless forward action, as opposed to almost all of these games. There's like... Uh, a lot of evasive stuff, a lot of defensive stuff, um, DMC, Bayonetta, Ninja Gaiden, even um, stuff like God of War. This isn't about that, it's about attack, 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 attack. Uh, so that's why there's no block, you can only parry. And you do that by hitting square on PlayStation and pushing a stick in the direction of the attack that's coming in, which you can see because they, they, a little red flash comes in, it's all, it's all done very well. And um, hit the parry at the exact right time, you can hit them straight into slow motion, slash them in half, pull out their spine, cruise, get your health back, fucking sweet, keep smashing everybody up. Amazing. Uh, there is a dodge move, people say there isn't, but there is a dodge move, you have to unlock it, and even that is, uh, it's not like a roll or anything like that, like a DMC style roll. It is a, uh, imagine Anderson Silva when he just sits, you know, drops to the side and catches someone with a cross. That's what it is. It's uh, You sort of uh, move to the side laterally and you attack at the same time. So it's uh, it's an aggressive dodge and um, that's actually an integral part. I don't, I don't know why it's an unlockable in some ways, but I do in other ways. It's weird that people might miss it and then the later parts of the game will be really hard because there's unblockable attacks and uh, people grab you. But I understand that at first they wanted to, you to understand how this game is supposed to be played. You were supposed to be attacking and aggressive and forward. And they, they want you to play a level without being able to dodge, I think, to do that. Maybe it would be a better idea if it just gave you the dodge. Oh, it doesn't fucking matter. There's a dodge in there. Unlock it. The chance should be the first thing you unlock. Uh, the boss battles, apart from the final boss battle, which is fucking toilet, which is the biggest letdown in the game, the other boss battles, of which there are, I'm going to say, five, are amazing. Uh, just fucking, uh, just phenomenally good, and on the hardest difficulty levels, get even better. Uh, amazing, like clever character designs. Their weapons are just superb. The battles just feel like just a like phenomenal end of a movie type stuff, where you're in such direct control. Um, yeah, Metal Gear Rising. I've, uh, it's, it's awesome. I love it. Uh, what's so terrible about the final boss? The final boss is just feels like maybe they just kind of ran out of time to get it as good as the rest of it. Uh, he looks like Ray Musica from Bioware, which I'll give um, my man Samuel Roberts credit for that joke. Very funny. Hmm. And, um, first of all, he's in, a, he's in like a Metal Gear, and it's kind of a bit shit compared to the rest of it. And then you fight him on his own, and like it's just a really difficult, poorly implemented boss battle that's very, very frustrating. A lot of unblockable attacks that are very hard to, to move out of the way of. Uh, a lot of sketchy stuff that happens, and then like halfway through, he'll chuck stuff at you, and you have to to cut it with your sword, which is a fine idea, but it's really difficult to get the exact angle that you need. And if you fuck it up, basically just like almost lose all your health and then have to restart the whole thing again. And this song plays while you're playing it. There's a, the, the whole game's got this weird soundtrack, kind of like emo, emotional, hardcore rock, and it, it suits the game quite well. And uh, every boss battle has its own song. And the one at the end is... It's fucking, it's a weird song anyway, but when you play the same boss for an hour and a half, which is how long it took me, the song just goes, In the end, and it's just like you, and you're just like me, and it's like you. And I have not, I played this game a month ago now, I have not got that song out of my head. That is in my head all day, every day. Um, because it was just that same chorus over and over again. <laughs> and... Yeah, it, it, I don't know why it's so shit, it's a shame it's so shit, and it left a real bad taste in my mouth, in fact, I was going to give it a much lower score, but then when I finished the game, I went back and started again on hard, and straight away, I was like, no, this game's superb, they just, they just fucked up the end, so, the preceding however many hours, it's a short game, but it's definitely one you want to play through uh, at least twice. Yeah, um, I can't wait, I haven't played it yet, I will talk about it next week. Um, how, how, um, how short is it? Uh, my game clock was five and a half hours on normal, uh, but that doesn't include restarts or cutscenes. So add an hour and a half straight away for the final boss, and add maybe another 
hour for general fuck ups, um, half an hour cutscenes. You know, it, it, like a bit shorter than most games, but not like criminally short. Not like Wanted Weapons of Fate, three hours forty three minutes. <laughs> Um, that was that was quite fun though that game. I thought it wasn't any longer than that because it was starting to go really shit and then it finished. Yeah, um, I yeah, I can't wait. I mean, I've, I've, I'll talk to you about it next week. I cannot wait. I mean, platinum me boys. Um, Metal Gear Rising: Revengeance, going back through it on hard mode, seeing footage of people playing on re Revengeance mode and very hard mode appearing on YouTube already, which just makes me feel embarrassed, especially as I've played this game a month before most people. Um, it's great to see that the, the game has that ability to be played at this higher level that I'm seeing online. I knew it did, but it's, it's cool to actually have that confirmed by the high-level high players. And uh, yeah, I still really, really like it. Um, superb combat. Thrilling. There's loads of people in, in reviews talking about the camera. I, I must say, I mean, I have to be completely honest, I just didn't have a problem with it to the point where it wasn't, there's not even a mention of it in my review. The, the camera just didn't, wasn't an issue, didn't think about it. Looking back, I guess I, it did spin around a bit in the sewers, but I just used lock on and th there were enough audio cues to know when to parry and mm. it just didn't, yeah, it didn't, I didn't have a problem with it, but, you know, totally, it does seem to be a problem for a lot of people. Um, and yeah, it's just it's been such a killer year so far for, for action games, the, these kind of combat action, ball or whatever you want to call them types of games with DMC this and then, oh yeah, I can't talk about the rest, but um, yeah, it, 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 it's going to be a good year for this type of game. Yeah, it already is, yeah. Um, yeah, it's my number one as well, I finally oh, got cool. it. Um, I've done, I, again, I think I'm I think I'm pretty sure I'm approaching the finale again, but uh, I haven't done this, this final boss that you spoke about last week. Um, it's it's I mean it's really quite something I mean platinum and Kojima was always going to be a little bit mental but I wasn't quite prepared for just how off the fucking hinges it is mm. um, and genuinely funny I mean it, it's in that kind of brilliant way where I don't know whether it's deliberately funny I don't know whether yeah. something's been lost in translation I don't I mean it's just it, but it, but completely mad uh, and mad in a game that you know uh, mad in a way that you know nothing else really is it's, it's a quintessential video game it's the kind of thing that reminded me of the PS2 era because back then there were so many games. That I, you know, I was a gamer, but I'd see people playing PS2 games, and I'd be like, "What the fuck am I looking at?" Just completely, completely everything about it to, to, to certain people would just make no sense at all, and that's yeah. that's brilliant. Um, I also like how it doesn't spell things out for you. Um, the, the process of playing through it the first time, the whole time I've been playing, I'm like, I can't wait to play this on hard so I can redo that bit, knowing exactly what's happening. I mean, mm. I didn't quite understand the secondary weapon thing. That wasn't very well explained. I think deliberately, uh, it didn't tell you there was a lock on because there was a part where I was like, it seems a little bit bizarre that there's no lock on. But then I discovered it, and I was like, right, okay. And then you start to re-strategize, and everything changes. Yeah. Um, and then there's those three armed enemies, these little scurrying little enemies which sort of come at you quite fast and they can offer, you know, they're... they're um... The little dwarf geckos, yeah, they're yes. in Metal Gear 4 as well, those little guys. Oh right, okay. Um, yeah, the, when the, uh, at first I thought that's no fun and really irritating to fight them, but mm. then you start realising that just forces you to use your radar. And again, as I progressed, it was just like there were no problem. And I just felt mm. like I was constantly learning things, so when I go back I'm just going to absolutely smash it. Um, I like the fact that it sometimes says you can do this stealthily if you want. I never did that because no. why would you? Yeah. Um, there is too much plot. I mean, it, it, yeah, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean it's, that's to be expected, I suppose. But it is, it is it, the, the the breaks. I mean, Metal Gear Solid games are slightly less problematic, I think, because those games are a bit more measured in pace. Yeah. But when you've had a massively superb boss fight and then you sort of ten minutes of uh, cutscenes, it's a bit much. Um, and it I just, is, but it, I, I, you know, it's not as egregious as say Metal Gear Four with its two-hour cutscenes and things. So, oh no, no, no. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it's just it's 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 completely off its own. You know, it's it's crazy. Um, um, did that that street urchin kid, George? Yeah. Uh, beyond bizarre. Mm. Absolutely um, bizarre. But, but I, that's yeah. It did very. They they managed to nail the Metal Gearness of it as well. All the pontification on the. You know the meaning of war and the, and the the soldier and all that stuff is sort of threaded through Metal Gear. I mean, Metal Gear is completely eccentric and esoteric in a way that couldn't exist in anything else. And people have talked about a Metal Gear movie so many times. I mean, how the fuck could you ever make a movie yeah, God of knows. something this weird? Mm. But um, yeah, they they managed to nail all of that. And if you were to explain it to someone like you, completely like you said, he doesn't play video games and never did they think you're off your fucking rocker. And I'm not talking about the bits where he runs down the side of a building or, you know, people get that. People get riding on a missile and 
all that stuff, you know. Yeah, you, yeah it's, it's that sort of stuff that's really weird. But you like that you, you're into the combat. Love it. I mean, the, but again, it's the process of learning that's made it so rewarding because mm. it reminded me of Vanquish because after a while you just felt like there was all of this chaos, which is so daunting when you first see it. You're just like, I can't. And then when you start to be able to just... When you get your first S rank, when there's so much going on, it's just like, mm. I love it. Yeah. I got my first one where you get into... I think it's either a bank or the bottom floor or something. It looks like the bottom floor of the bank. I don't think it is a bank. And that's where I hit my first S rank when everything's kicking off. And I felt like an absolute boss. Yeah. But um, did you get the feeling when you were playing it? And I had this in Vanquish as well. But I, the whole time I was playing it until sort of maybe the final quarter I was thinking am I doing this right is this the way this is supposed to be done because they definitely had that in Vanquish um, and then and then I'm thinking now now oh no I definitely I get it now I get I'm using the secondary weapons right I understand which ones to use I can't wait to go back through again and now I'm going through it again and I do feel like I know what I'm doing but I still feel that there's there's so much to learn I feel like I've only got my, my blue belt or my purple belt there's still a long way to go but that's I think that's what's great about it because it is it, it will keep on giving I'm mm, sure totally. I expect to learn more about how it works later but I mean I'm already itching to finish it so I can go back and ace stuff that I didn't quite you know quite get my head around uh, the first time um, I like it, but Platinum have their priorities right they don't make long games but they Everything is of a very, very high standard, and in terms yeah. of presentation as well. The only, I mean, there's, it's so busy, visually, crazily busy, and the only performance issues were the frame rate dipped a couple of times, but only when you were walking down and that sort of digital chat display came up and you were talking to somebody. Mm. Uh, all of the other madness that goes on that didn't call, that didn't. No, solid, solid 60 frames a second. Yeah, it's 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 crazily impressive, um, and just you know, I, I just love how deranged it is. You know, I've. There's loads. Of, there is an upgrade system. It's not imposing or anything. It's very, very straightforward. But I saved up all my points, and I'm now playing through the game with the sombrero outfit. Sweet. Because uh, that's that's just you know that's yeah. It had to be done. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean it's pretty damn marvelous, and I, I I can't wait to play it some more. 